how we begin. So um, this time around, we want to quickly see how to link your Payoneer account to your Upwork account. Okay, can you see my screen, everybody? Yes, sir. We can see it. All right, great. So here I am on my um, Upwork account. So what I want to do is I head over to my picture here, my profile picture. Click on it. I go over to settings. I click on settings. It would obviously ask me for my password. So I'll put in my details. Continue. So, um, once your details has been plugged in, it takes you over to the settings, the Upwork settings. This will, be, this will be the last section, okay? So just bear with me. Even though the network is still messy on the PC. Sorry about the network. It's faster on my phone, but I can't use my phone to, to do this section. So messy. Let me see if I can switch over to the phone. I just want to be sure. I want to make sure that we finish this session today. I don't want to carry anything over again. So just give me a few minutes. Let me let me log on again to my phone. See if I can use my phone. Now. Yeah, I can see. Okay, so we head over to. We head over to the Upwork, and then here we are. Once we put in our password, it brings us here. Okay, so we we navigate straight to where we have Get Paid and click on Get Paid. As we click on Get Paid, it takes us to where we would have to link either the Payoneer account or PayPal account or whatever account you have. Okay, even your Naira account. So um, this procedure is the same. Whether you are linking your Payoneer account, whether you are linking your PayPal account or your bank account directly to Upwork, the procedure is the same. So just follow me patiently and you will arrive at the same uh, juncture. Just waiting for the phone. Taking a little longer, but just in pressure, please. Okay, here we are. So it gives you options to plug in your information. Still asking me for my password. Put in my password. All this password is important because they want they want to be sure that it is the owner of the account that is assessing this critical part okay because some persons they get multiple jobs and then give people access to their accounts to do the work for them okay because they receive the job in their own name with their upwork account so if anybody is helping you to do your job the person has to log into your account because the pictures has to be taken in your account picture okay so that's why 
they want to be sure that the person logging in and the person withdrawing doing sensitive things is somebody that owns the account so you can see here this get paid now is where you request for money instantly once you click on it get paid now it would withdraw the money from upwork straight into what you have chosen as your primary payment in this case my primary payment is paypal so for you who will be using this for the first time you won't be seeing anything here so what you will see is this option payment method just click on add method as you click on add method it brings this up for you okay these are the, this is recommended for nigeria if you want to link your naira account directly you can just set it up click on setup here once you click on setup it will take you over to where you will put in details of your bank account but you will need something else which is called a swift code okay and i already told us to get that you have to go over to your bank to supply you your swift code okay your bank will need to supply you your swift code to be able to link your bank account directly to upwork all right so you can see set up payments directly local bank of course every step of the way expect to impute your password because this is very critical any money that goes out cannot be returned or cannot be refunded so here you put in your swift code if you have a swift code for your naira account, naira account or your dollar account so once you go to the account your bank you can request for a swift code and follow the process i don't usually i don't i don't use this so i don't teach it but this is just in a case you work in the bank and you know about swift code you can use that option for yourself if you want to but i recommend the third party option so that you can get your dollars and go to the black market and change it so also available here you have payoneer you can see payoneer here because i have linked my paypal that is why my paypal is not showing here all right so anyone you link now will disappear from this option so in this case i want to link payoneer i already have my paypal linked and i can still link more if i want to then when i want to withdraw i would have options to choose where to withdraw to whether i want to withdraw to my paypal i want to withdraw to my payoneer whatever okay so in this case once I click on PayPal, uh, Payoneer, if this is another way to register from your Upwork account, if you don't have an account already with Payoneer, okay, you can come through this method and start your registration process. I may not want to recommend this because I have not used it. I don't know if there is any itches, if there is any additional or underlying price that you may need to pay eventually. I don't know. So I don't recommend this method. I recommend you create your account outside and then link it up. So what I do is, in the case where I already have an account with Payoneer like myself, I just head over here and I say, already have a Payoneer account. Click here. I click on it. It opens up an interface, Payoneer interface, for me to sign into my Payoneer account. Okay? I sign into my Payoneer account here. I hope I'm recording this session okay i'm recording so here i sign to my peony account my details are already here you can see it's already logged in so i just click on sign in once you have signed in an account if you have created an account with them or signed up an account you just sign in here once you click on sign in it will automatically sign into your peony account and then link it directly to your upwork account so it's just like a one click process you don't need too much to be done okay so you see the the, 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 the the result here you have added a new funding source to your payoneer account okay so here it says you may now receive payment from upwork escrow in corporation to your usd balance you see that and that's because the account i linked to my payoneer account is my domiciliary account so to v to view a full list of available funding sources log into your payoneer account i'm not interested in this again I've done the linkage so I return to Upwork. So once I return to Upwork, I go back to my payment option and then I will see that Payoneer has been linked to my account. You see that it says congratulations, it's asking for my password.
So congratulations, your Payoneer account registration was successful. For security reasons, your new Payoneer payment method will become active in three days. Okay, to check on the status of your account, please contact Payoneer support and refer to Payoneer ID. Okay, so all those are blah, blah, blah for the records. So here we go. You can see that Payoneer has been added. Okay, but of course you read the instruction. It will be active in three days. Okay. So here, my preferred payment is PayPal. But when I want to withdraw instantly now, I will be asked, where do I want to withdraw to or thereabouts? Again, and then I can choose where I want to withdraw to. Okay? So that is that. Another thing I, I usually advise is, instead of using this get paid now option, I recommend you schedule your payment so that it looks as if you're paying yourself salary, even as a freelancer. How do you do that? You head over to schedule, and click on edit schedule once you choose the option edit schedule it allows you to set up how you want to receive your payment is it monthly weekly yearly or whatever so in this case remember it says your withdrawal fee is two dollars per payment okay but you know the irony is this for so long i have scheduled my payment to be monthly and every time i have received my payment from upwork into my paypal account all this withdrawal fee has never applied okay it has never applied i received my full payment from upwork straight into my paypal account but everybody who has been using payoneer kept complaining that payoneer deducted their money for whatever reasons i don't know but for me it has always been full payment all right and because of that, I've also helped so many other people open an app, I mean, a, pay, a PayPal account, just like I showed some of us with a screenshot today. So you can schedule your payments. You can also try it with Payoneer. I've not done that, but you can just try it out for yourself. Schedule your payments, okay? Once you schedule your payment, you choose when you want to be paid. Is it quarterly, monthly, twice per month, weekly, or whatever? Can you choose that for yourself? Thereafter, you choose when the payment should be done. Not just about when the payment, uh, what month or when the payment should enter into your account, okay? How much should be your minimum balance on Upwork before this is initiated? So it's just like setting up an automation process. So in this case, I chose $100 or more. So once the money is $100 or more and it is the end of the month, the payment will be done even when I'm not online. It will automatically be done for me. So once I come online, I will receive an alert that this payment was done okay but if it is the end of the month and i don't have up to this amount i will not receive any payments that is what i have scheduled so you can choose to schedule your own differently okay it's your choice but this is what i chose for myself so the only time this money will come in let me scroll down so that we can see everything properly so this money will come in at the end of the month every last wednesday okay but it must be that i have over 100 or exactly 100 dollars so if I don't have up to that, okay, the money will not come in. So that's how I said it. And the reason is because when you collect your money from Upwork in bulk, it affects or it reduces the charges. So if Upwork is to, re is to charge you more, okay, you can just collect that more or collect that charges, okay, with all the money you wish to withdraw. Instead of withdrawing in bits, and every money you are withdrawing, you are being charged. So imagine withdrawing 50, 50, 50 dollars every one, one week, and you are being charged two, 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 two dollars. So you can imagine how many that would amount to, as opposed to when you withdraw everything at once and you are charged just two dollars at a time. Okay, so that is what you can do here under scheduling of payment. And lastly, you can decide whether you want to reserve a balance. A reserve balance i usually i do this for myself okay and it was my reserve that i used to upgrade this account okay so that there is never a time when your upwork account is dormant because at the time you might run out of connect and you want to buy connect instead of starting to link in your card or no you want to link your card you want to link your atm and it's giving you problem because some persons have entered into problem trying to link their card they got their account suspended for whatever reasons all right for whatever reasons so what i usually recommend is you leave some money into your in your upwork account it can be five dollars okay it can be ten it can be fifteen like myself all right so whatever you decide and you can still decide not to leave anything if you want to withdraw everything it's your choice 
okay so this is just what you set up and then once you have done that you will be shown when your next payment will be once you do that just click on save changes and everything will be set up for you that was exactly how i set this up and my next payment is likely to be at this time of the year okay at this time of the month and i will receive the payments here so you can see that and whenever your payment has been made you will see how much was paid into your account as the last amount that was paid that is what you get to see here all right if you want to add more payment options you can always come up here and click on add method and then with this your your paypal account or your upwork account is all set and ready to be used and ready to uh, be receiving payments once clients pay you okay so with this um we've come to the end of this training